Hey, what's going on guys? In today's tutorial, I want to talk to you about curve panel. And today we're going to be talking about curves, hue versus hue, hue versus saturation, and so on and so on. Because I realized in some of my recent tutorials, I've been pushing a little bit too fast, too quickly, you know, uh, try to cover the looks, the, the film looks, without really tapping into the basics of color grading and the basics of different tools, okay? So today I want to talk to you and cover a little bit of this panel so you guys can have more knowledge what each of those tools does okay so let's get started uh this footage been downloaded from the red.com website uh in one of their sample directories you guys can actually download it and play it on your own uh it's been shot on obviously red camera and i'm not going to be switching to the log or anything like that in today's tutorial i just want to cover uh, the basic tools so you guys know what is going on okay so let's start with that one of the first tool is obviously curves I'm sure most of you know exactly how curves work uh, it's very simple uh, After Effects have it uh, Premiere have it any any kind of visual software has the simple curves okay you can uh, increase saturation by making a slight S curves just like that let's check it out before and after um, basically the bottom response for the shadows and the top response for the highlights okay you can also limit the effect of the curve for example if we increase um, our highlight just like that we have a little thing over here a little arrow that we can actually start shrinking it we can start shrinking the effect of the curves okay so keep that in mind in the future. Also, by default, the Vinch Resolve curves is linked with all the channels, R, G, and B. That means when we're increasing, for example, uh, the contrast, we're also increasing the saturation. And if you guys only want to increase uh, the contrast without tapping into saturation, you have to ungain the curves. So if you unlink them just like this, you can actually work individually Per channel so let's say I want to add a little bit more yellow I can only add yellow instead of tapping into other channels okay the same for example with the contrast if I'm gonna increase the contrast I'm only gonna be increasing the contrast and not touching actually the saturation of the clip all right also we have the soft clip and what the soft clip does it sort of gives a nice roll-off uh, as you can see on the scopes, if you're just going to use the low, it basically cuts the shadows. But if you're going to do low soft, you can see it has a slightly different effect rather than just cutting off the highlights like that. Same for the, I mean for the shadows, I'm sorry. Same for the highlights, very same principle. You see how in the highlight soft, it sort of shrinks them a little bit. But if you're going to use... Um, cut off it cuts them a little bit sharper okay and again you can do this per channel or all linked up so the next thing we have hue versus hue so hue versus hue is really cool panel uh, you can click on the color that you like to modify just like that or you can select it from the bottom let's say I want to modify the blue channel so I'm gonna select blue and in the blue as I'm dragging it up and down I can actually change the hue of that color so let's say I want to make this regular blue more teal I'm just gonna pull up and pull down and you can see how it changes okay let's check it out before and after but for example uh, let's see let me do the red let's say I want to affect a little bit red color let's see you see that little riff over here we can only affect that part of the image and obviously just like a Luma curve that I've been working the more you drag the more you tap into wider spectrum of the color okay very straightforward very simple to remember okay so let's reset that that was hue versus hue 
if we're gonna go to hue versus saturation this is pretty much very straightforward let's say I want to desaturate the blue color so I select blue and I'm just gonna pull down on the little curve and if the selection looks too sharp again we can make it a little bit wider the way we have a very nice soft roll off again very simple so let's reset that and what's next next we have hue versus luma basically it increases the brightness of the color that we select uh, again let's say I wanna make this blue a little bit brighter so I'm gonna select blue and I'm gonna start pulling up on this okay and as you can see it only makes this blue brighter again making the selection wider fetters the edges of the sharp selection um, you have to be careful uh, using hue versus luma because depending on the format and especially if you're using platforms such as DSLR or any kind of other 8 and even 10 bit uh, footage you may not be able to get a really good result with that because uh, whenever you increase the luminance uh, in the video the footage starts breaking down very quickly and it's gonna look like complete disaster but just be careful with it it's nice to know you know so let's reset that and then we have uh, that was Luma we have Luma versus saturation so what this thing does uh, as you increasing the curve it's also increasing the saturation or you can desaturate you can make your own custom curve just like that based on the luminosity of the color if that makes sense I don't know if you guys understand that basically the brighter the channel you can make it either more or less saturated just like I showed in this graph see just like that so this is the brightest part right over here see how it's only affects this part but for example if I'm gonna come over here we can see it affects the brightest part here it affects the darkest part in terms of saturation all right so let's reset that and finally we have saturation versus saturation so again let's start by increasing it and as you can see I guess the darkest part of the saturation got very saturated and then as we advancing towards the mid we can see the effect of saturation versus saturation very cool tools you can do a lot of different looks just by knowing those very very basic tools Okay, I hope this video helps. Thank you very much for watching. Subscribe and I'll see you soon.